Greetings, all nations. My name is Prophetess Brenda Saw Jesus. And immediately one day after the Oscars, I was looking at my Facebook memories. And 12 years ago, it said, Satan, get behind me. You have no say so over what I do. No matter who is for me, with me, against me, or believes me. And there was another 12 years ago. And it said, in parentheses, it said, sing. So I'm referencing a song by India Ari, I Am Not My Hair. So it says, I am not my hair. I am not the skin. I am not your expectations. No, no. And there was a third Facebook memory, but I'll save that until the very end. Right now, I want to focus on Ecclesiastes 3, 1 through 9. To everything. There is a season and a time for every purpose under the heaven, a time to be born and a time to die, a time to plant and a time to pluck up that which is planted, a time to kill and a time to heal, a time to break down and a time to build up, a time to weep and a time to laugh, a time to mourn and a time to dance, a time to cast away stones and a time to gather stones together a time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing a time to get and a time to lose a time to keep and a time to cast away a time to rend and a time to sow a time to keep silent and a time to speak a time to love and a time to hate a time of war and a time of peace what profit hath he that worketh in that wherein he labor now, there's a time and place for everything. The Oscars is not the place nor the time to express yourself in a physical way. Now, if the other party would have hit back, it would have been a brawl up, up in the Oscars. Now, do we want to be included in the festivities like the Oscars? Or do we want to express ourselves in a physical way in the Oscars? And see, that's what you got to choose between. You can't have both ways. Now, they can't wait to think of a reason not to invite black people to things anymore. And so I would advise you guys to think about that before you decide to fight people in the Oscars. And the other thing I want the comedians to think about, I know the jokes are, you know, the jokes y'all have are funny. But the sensitivity behind what was going on with Jada's situation is not funny. And so I just want you all to think about that. The last Facebook post was Romans 8, 18, and that was 12 years ago. For I consider that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. Brenda warns that we are living in the last days. Now is the time for repentance. In her visions, she has seen Judgment Day and the rapture. There is life after death, and all people will bow down before the Lord Jesus and confess. The world is gone. It is your soul that Jesus is still willing to save. Jesus is watching. Are you ready? All are welcome to join Prophetess Brenda Saul Jesus on her online prophetic ministries. Her blog is brendasawjesus.blogspot.com. Find her on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash real prophetess. On Twitter, Brenda Saul Jesus. And on Instagram, prophetess Brenda Saul Jesus. See you there.